Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and today our topic is VTP protocol. So VTP stands for VLAN Trunking Protocol and it is a Cisco property protocol that is used to forward the multiple VLAN information and configure them on the other devices that is connected in series with the switches. Okay, so it's a layer 2 protocol that creates, delete and renaming the VLAN throughout the network of layer 2 if multiple switches are connected in, in series. So by the help of VTP, we can forward the multiple information, multiple VLAN information and they will automatically create the VLAN on the, on the other device. Dynamically create the VLAN on other devices, can delete the VLAN on other devices and there are several modes in VTP. By the help of these modes, we can decide that which switch can create the VLAN, which switch can delete the VLAN and which switch has authority to create, delete or renaming the VLAN. First of all, to initiate the VTP process, you must provide a domain name. A domain name must be a, a random name allotted to the to the VTP. Okay. After providing the domain name, the VTP will be automatically started. So there are three modes of VTP. First one is server mode that is also called master mode in which we can create, delete and modify and update also propagate the VLAN information to the other devices. Next one is client mode. In client modes, uh, the switch cannot create, modify or delete the VLANs, but it can propagate the VLAN to the other switches. Next one is transparent mode. In transparent mode, we can delete, modify, create the VLANs to its own device. That is means locally we can do, but that VLAN information must not be forwarded to other switches, right? And in transparent mode, we can also create the extended VLAN. So that is additional feature of the transparent mode okay now let's more clearly discuss about the vtp so dear if i talk about the vtp protocol so this is how the vtp protocol works okay so dear this is my switch is switch that is in server mode in server modes the switch in server mode can create the vlan and will forward the vlan information to the other switches that i am that these are the vlan information that you can configure so these VLAN information will be forwarded to the switches that is in client mode and by the help of that these client these switches will create the VLAN on their database. So VLAN information can be forwarded to other switches by the help of what VTP and can be configured on the other switches dynamically. We don't need to create the VT, uh, the VLAN information on all the switches switches uh, all the all the switches now okay so by the help of what vtp protocol we can easily do the same okay now what is the meaning of server mode dear let us assume sir switch zero is in server mode so it can create delete or update and rename the vlan information so after creating these will any vlan the vlan information will be automatically forwarded to the next switch that if you are in client mode or server mode, you can also copy paste the same database, say the my database. That is means VLAN information must be will be forwarded to others and by the help of that, the switches will update their database and then the VLAN information must be forwarded to others that if switch 2 will be in server mode or client mode, it can update the VLAN database. That is means can create the VLAN information dynamically. Okay. If I talk about the client mode, so when the update will be received from the server mode or client mode, it will update its VLAN database. Okay. So it can update only the VLAN database. It cannot create the VLAN and it cannot delete the VLAN, but it can forward the VLAN information that is received from other device. Okay. Now, if I talk about the transparent mode, the switch in transparent mode can create the VLAN, but for its own, the VLAN created will be limited to this switch only. So it can create the VLAN, delete the VLAN and rename the VLAN locally, but cannot forward to others. But if any VTP information will be received to this switch, so it will forward to the next one without update. Okay. This is the feature of what transparent mode switch. Okay. Now let's do the comparison between these two switches. Uh, these two, these three mode, right? The 
switch in server mode can create the VLAN, delete the VLAN, right? But in client mode, it cannot create or delete the VLAN, but can update the VLAN information if received. And so in server mode also, if any information will be received, it will be automatically update. But in case of transparent mode, it will not update the VLAN information. It will, it can create the VLAN, but for its own. It can also delete the VLAN, but for its own. Okay. And all the three modes have a feature to forward the VLAN information. But the server mode switch will also update their database. Client mode switches will update their database, but the switch in transparent mode will not update the database. If I talk about the VTP mode server, it cannot access the extended VLAN. Client mode cannot access the, access the uh, extended VLAN, but the transparent mode can access the extended VLAN information. That it means 1006 to 1095 can be created, 4095 VLAN information can be created on the transfer transparent mode. Now let's do the practical about this. Let us assume we have connected five different switches. First of all, let me assign the server mode to this switch, right? Client mode to second one. Uh, sorry, transparent mode to second one. Okay, then on next I will configure the client mode. Then on next I will create the transparent mode. And on last one I will create the client mode. Right now, dear, first of all, if you want to process the the VTP protocol, you have to provide a domain name. So I will go to switch. First of all, we will provide the domain name to the switches. So after providing the domain name, we will do the configuration of transparent mode and client mode. By default, all will be in server mode. Then we step by step do the configuration on all of these. So let's first of all initiate the VTP process. How we can do that? Go to the switch, enable configuring terminal VTP domain CCNA. I'm giving a domain name CCNA randomly, but here this domain name must be change, must be same to all of these switches to forward the VLAN information. Configuring terminal VTP domain CCNA. So this domain name will initiate the VTP process on all of these switches. Enable configuring terminal VTP domain CCNA. Okay. So we have just provided the domain name. Now I will go to this switch and change the mode to transparent mode. Okay. VTP mode, transparent mode. By this command, we can change the mode of this switch. Okay. Then we will go to next switch, configuring terminal VTP mode client. So dear, this is how we can do the configuration of transparent mode and client mode on all of these switches okay on next one i will do the transparent mode configuration okay Con enable configuring terminal vtp mode right transparent okay so this will be in transparent mode but to start the vtp process we have to give a domain name vtp vtp domain ccna okay on next one on last one also i will ha have to do the same enable configuring terminal vtp domain ccna okay vtp mode line but there all these configuration will not work until i will configure the trunk link okay so i have to make these links the trunk link how i will do i will use the dtp protocol first of all i will configure on this switch then this switch okay uh, if I do the configuration trunk on these interfaces and these interfaces, the, so the complete links will become the trunk link by the help of a DTP protocol. So I will go to global configuration, select the interface, interface range, FA0 slash 1 and 2, switch port mode trunk. By the help of this command, it will become trunk. Now I will go to last one, select the interface range, FA0 slash 1 and 2, switch port mode trunk by this command the trunk will be created okay now let's see what will be the vlan information forwarded first of all i will create here vlan 2 vlan 3 vlan 2 
is hr vlan 3 is sales okay let me create this vlan and we'll check others uh, others are updating the vlan or not okay so let me fast forward this to receive the updates okay i will go to server mode enable configuring terminal okay vlan 2 name hr okay vlan 3 name sales okay let me check on other switches that is the vlan information available or not so on la last switch i will check show show vlan brief okay here you can see that the vlan information is all automatically updated so that is means the switch is, is in client mode will update the database so vlan will be created automatically on these but the switches in transparent mode will not create any vlan information enable show vlan vlan brief they will not show in any information because in transparent mode it will not update the vlan information and also if i want to create the vlan database so it will be created on its on only okay so vlan let me create some vlan here vlan 4000 dear this is extended vlan concept so in case of transparent mode we can create the extended vlan also so show vlan brief okay you can see that vlan 4000 is available here because this is in transparent mode so transparent mode when receive the update without updating to the switch it will forward to others so this is the tendency of it is the property of a transparent mode switch okay now dear let's talk about the security process in case of vlan trunking protocol vtp protocol so dear if i want to save my network i have to put the some password about this so how you can put the password on vtp the simple simple command vtp password okay and put a random password like i'm giving a password ccna okay now we, if we will do the same on all of these devices if i will not change the password to others and i will not put the same password on on others so they will not do process the vtp configuration so vtp mode vtp password ccna i will put the same password here okay on third one also i will do the same enable configuring terminal vtp password okay ccna okay let me do the same on other switches also enable configuring terminal vtp vtp password ccna okay on last one also i will do the configuration what configuring terminal vtp password ccna cc and so i have put same password because when the password will be same the vtp information can be forwarded okay now the problem is that dear dear the network is still insecure because if anyone has a laptop he can connect the laptop on console cable and can check what are the configuration that is ongoing on the on my network so how we can prevent that let us assume someone has connected the console cable with the laptop and he can see all the configuration how show vtp status so you can see that it is showing the domain name and so on by the command show run you can also check the password here what are what are the password we have provided to the switches okay so how we can we can save our networks from that okay so dear there are number of processor to do that how we can do by the help of providing what the console password how we can put the console parts password dear just click here and go to global configuration mode and put a password by putting enable password by this command cc and p so this is how we can put the console password but dear this password but whenever someone want to log in here it will ask the password so now we have to put the password here so this will be password protected but here this password can be ex exposed in show run command so we have to put a password that cannot be seen by anyone so how that how to put that kind of password that that cannot be 
seen in show run command so for that we have to put a secret password first of all i will delete the previous password then put a secret password so no enable password first of all i will delete previous password now i will put secret password that cannot be seen in show run configuration enable secret cci so dear this password cannot be seen in the show run command also ccie okay show run so dear the network will be highly secure because the password will not be seen by anyone if you didn't have logged out okay now the next point is what after that there is something called configuration revision number what configuration revision revision number let me go to switch show vtp vtp status here every time when anyone do the configuration in the network the cr number will be automatically increased let us assume i am creating one more uh, one more vlan on any switch right vlan 6 okay name engineering department okay so whenever i put this command show vtp status it will give me that the cr number will be automatically increased it will become six from five because there is a change in networks so dear this is how we can configure the vtp protocol put the password and protect protect our network if anyone has the confusion in the vtp just please please ask me in the comment and have a nice day